What's up, guys? Um, so uh, this week's video, or uh, the, this Friday's video, would be uh, uh, let me see four separate maneuvers uh, because uh, I had way too many requests, and I think um, there never been a video done uh, where you have four separate maneuvers. So it'll be a knife head spin, then a uh, crankshaft slash lumsavak and then suicide slash parachute and some snaps. Uh, so the knife head spin and the crankshaft are pretty much the same same inputs, at least for me. Uh, I, was, I was wrong previously uh, about something, little detail, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll fix that now. See, sometimes you do a maneuver and you don't even know the sticks, you're just doing it because you've done it for so many so many times for so long that uh, you, don't, you don't really know until you get your hands on the on this uh, transmitter. So I will do it uh, now. All right, let's, uh, let's start. What's that, Cindy? No? Okay. All right, knife head spin. We'll start with knife head spin then. Straight up and straight down. Watch the sticks. Pretty good catch. So let's do it again. Straight down, little roll. And watch the stick. That wasn't that bad. I ended up a little further away than I wanted to be. Remember the macros. Alright, so again, straight up and straight down. Right, one more time, one last time. Straight down. And I don't know if you noticed, there's a little kick of rudder uh, right at the beginning of the maneuver. And uh, honestly, I uh, didn't think about it. It goes, uh, it goes uh, same to the crankshaft, so. Okay, yeah, you don't want to end up like that. Let's give it again. That's a little too high. So, let's see, uh, you could fly like that. Like a big half a loop. Plane straight down, and there it is. Perfect uh, knife head spin. And uh, what it takes is, I'm going to do it one last time. What it takes is a full down elevator, a little bit of aileron, uh, and then uh, once you get into the maneuver, you should not need any rudder anymore. See, so there it is. Crash. There you go. So that's my first spin, and uh, now let's do crankshaft. I prefer doing that from uh, the left, and I'm gonna turn this thing off because we don't need it anymore. There you go, and push. That was just perfect. And you see that I did uh, kick a little bit of rudder. I was talking to Ben uh, Cantrell over at uh, 3D uh, Bash, and he was right there. Is 
Okay, it's a little bit of rudder just at the beginning of the maneuver, just like with a uh, uh, knife head spin. So let's do it again. Push. Let's do it from the other side. One last time. You have to have a little bit of aileron so the plane continues flying forward, basically. Because uh, if you don't give it aileron, here's what happens. If you don't give it aileron. Yeah, you basically, uh, it, it's almost like a pop top. I know some people call it a, a pinwheel. I think it's a pretty uh, <laughs> violent maneuver. So. I don't, I don't do that maneuver. Anyway, what's next? Suicide! All right. Let me show you how I crashed my plane. So I went around like that, inverted. And like a half a loop. Full throttle, full throttle, full throttle, and then I pulled up. And guess what happened? Um, the whole front, of the front end of the plane just departed. It basically fell to the ground, but it wasn't that bad because I think I did that about 20 feet off the ground, something like that, which is a safe altitude for me. I'm sure people can do it lower, but so you would go like that. I mean, you can do it from and the maneuver, I guess, go around, but preferably cut the power and then pull up. Yeah, that would be too low. Yeah, and let's do it again. Suicide slash penalty. Oh, I wasn't half bad. Go from the other side. And in this case, I really don't have a preference what side I do it from. Let's do it from another side. Maybe here. Straight down. That's suicide slash parachute. Call it what you want, but um, I killed my plane. All right, what's next? Snaps. So again, I don't know much about snaps. I don't know the proper terms and stuff like that. So I just fly around and uh, and preferably you would want to fly one plane uh, so you get. I don't know if you heard me, but preferably you would want to fly one plane so you get used to uh, the speed at which it uh, snaps because it looks better if it stops where you intend it to. That wasn't bad. And I think it's called a positive snap if both sticks goes to the same side. But I really don't know. So let's do it again. Oh, that wasn't bad either. I'll make it better at it. Woo, that was good. Of course, I would never do it that low. Now, I spoke to many people about snapping and how they do it. And uh, some do use elevators, some don't. And uh, hey, uh, snapping doesn't mean you just jam the sticks like this, you know, to its uh, corners. No. Uh, in fact, uh, I spent a little bit of time at the field with Chris Henson, and his suggestions were that uh, the elevator has about 10, 15 degrees uh, of throw, and the rudder is about the same, and full aileron. So let's see if we can uh, slow it down. 
physics. And let's go to something nice and slow, like 50 or so. Now let's do the most popular snap. That's the one and a quarter from right side up to a knife batch. Whoa, overdid it. Let's do it from the other side. And basically you want to you want to see a wobble. So if it takes just a uh, just a full aileron and rudder, so be it. I know some people do it that way. In fact, a uh, couple of guys I know that are really, really considered uh, one of the best uh, in the country doing it like that. But really, the proper snap would be to give it a little bit of. Uh, Elevated, like quick snap, and there you go. But really, you should be uh, every plane is a little different, and not always do you apply full rudder. In fact, like if you watch, uh, well, obviously, <laughs> you do watch uh, videos on YouTube. You can slow it down to 0.25 and see. All right, so a couple more. From inverted to a knife batch, just one and a quarter as well. That was good. And again, we're doing it at a 50% uh, speed. <laughs> Let's do one and a half. Oh, there's more than one and a half. Okay, this will be one and a half. There you go. Do it again. One more pass and that's it. I won't do it from really low, like the super cool one that Jay's does. Now it's very, very uh, stressful for the plane, I am sure, but so please, if you fly hard like that, check the plane before every flight, just, you know, lift the tail, check all the servos, all the connections, your landing gear, make sure nothing is loose. It only really takes just a few seconds. So that is it. Um, so we did knife head spin, which is pretty much the same thing as a crankshaft slash a uh, uh, And then suicide. Don't do the suicide full throttle like I did. It's stupid. It breaks planes. So uh, just do it. Uh, no throttle. Or just a very little, give it a quick uh, burst of throttle just so you get some uh, airflow over the surfaces before you uh, pull up. And um, it's actually a pretty cool maneuver, but the plane is basically stalled, right? And so it could uh, drop a wing, so be ready for it. And then the snaps, uh, I'm not really familiar with the terms, so uh, positive, negative, and all this other stuff. I just go and fly and have fun. So uh, if there is some guys like Kobe, I'm sure he can explain what positive, negative, and all this other stuff means. So uh, let me know what other video would want to see next. Thank you guys. See ya.